Choo Choo and friends in the magical carpet. Chee Choo Cha! Look! Choo Choo Cha Cha Chiku and Chica are on their magical flying carpet. And they're off to the land of fairy tales. If you're ready for a fun ride, say chi chu cha. Chi chu cha. One day, the magical carpet took Choo Choo and her friends to a place where there grew a very tall beanstalk that reached all the way up to the clouds. Wow, such a quiet place. I wonder who lives here. Suddenly, Choo Choo spotted a lady. Sitting alone and sobbing, Choo Choo ran to console her. Dear lady, why are you sad? The lady looked up at the kind faces of the children and told them what was troubling her. It's my son, Jack. He climbed up this beanstalk this morning, and he still hasn't returned. I'm scared something terrible may have happened. Up this beanstalk? Isn't it unusually tall? Yes, it's a magical beanstalk. Let me tell you how it all started. And so began the most amazing tale of Jack and the Beanstalk. Jack and his mother lived in a tiny cottage. They were very poor and had no money. All they owned was a cow. One day, Jack's mother saw that there was nothing left in the house to eat. With a heavy heart, she realized that they would have to sell their cow. Jack, we have nothing to eat and we have no money either. The only thing left to do is to sell the cow. Please, take her to the market and sell her for a good price. In the market, a stranger walked up to Jack and offered to buy the cow. I'd like to buy your cow. She's a wonderful cow. How much will you pay me for her? I don't have any money, but I can give you these magical beans instead. Huh? Magical beans? Yes, they'll help you grow rich. Rich? Okay, all right then. And so Jack sold the cow for a handful of beans. When Jack showed the beans to his mother, she was not pleased at all. Oh, foolish boy. Our dear cow sold for a few beans. We will definitely starve. That night, Jack and his mother went to bed hungry, but while they slept, strange and magical things began to happen. Jack awoke to find that a huge beanstalk had grown where his mother had thrown the beans. A beanstalk. Gosh, it goes all the way to the clouds. Maybe the stranger was right. Maybe they were indeed magical beans. Mother, I'm going to climb it.
Enough! Come back down, Jack! I'm going all the way to the top, Mother! I'm going to see where it leads. But Jack hadn't returned. Don't worry. We'll go up the beanstalk and we'll go look for Jack. Won't we? Yes! Chee, choo, cha! Let's go! Choo choo, cha cha, chiku, and chika started to climb the beanstalk. Higher and higher they went, all the way up to where the beanstalk touched the clouds. And then, they were in for a big surprise. On the cloud stood a magnificent castle. A castle! Wow! Jack must be inside. Let's go look! When they entered the castle, Choo Choo and her friends noticed that everything there was enormous in size. And they soon found out why. Because in the castle lived a fearsome giant. And somehow, Jack had ended up very close to the giant. He was terrified that the giant might see him. The giant's table was laden with food, and among the dishes sat a beautiful golden hen. Suddenly, in a terrifying voice, the giant roared at the hen. Hen, lay me some golden eggs at once. I want to see them before I eat. Hurry up, or I will crush you between my teeth. Satisfied by the golden eggs, the giant now began to eat. And after his huge meal, the giant promptly fell asleep. Now is our chance to help Jack escape. Jack, we're here to take you back home. Your mother is worried about you. Hurry, let's go. to escape from the giant. <laughs> yes, he is very cruel to her. Don't worry, Hen. We won't leave you behind. Fee fi fo fum I smell the presence of some little ones. I know there are children in my castle. I'm going to eat them up! Let's head for the beanstalk! Quick! <laughs> they hurried down the beanstalk, and soon they reached the bottom. As they 
began to chop, the beanstalk magically disappeared and the giant turned into a pile of dust. Hooray! We're safe! Thanks, Choo Choo, Cha Cha, Chica and Chiku. Thank you, brave children, for rescuing Jack. You're welcome! And this hen is for you. She lays golden eggs that you can sell. You'll never have to worry about money again. Thank you. You are the kindest children ever. And from that day, Jack and his mother lived happily ever after. That was fun! Now to our next adventure in Fairy Tale Land! If you want to go on another magical ride with Choo Choo and friends, say Chi Choo Cha! Chi Choo Cha! Chi -choo -cha.